Hello, Libra. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So, Libra, this is your reading for the month of January 2024, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Uh, Libra, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I've shuffled the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what is your energy for the month of Jan, the energy of the person that you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with, and we'll see what are the challenges and opportunities coming towards you. At the fag end, I'll pull out some Lenormand cards for advice. So as far as your energy is concerned, we have Page of Pentacles, so I'm going to lay down the cards first. Then we have the Star. Then we have Knight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. As far as your love life is concerned, we have Ace of Cups. Then we have Justice. We have Sun. And we have Hermit. Wow, we have so many major arcanas when it comes to your love life. As far as your challenges are concerned, we have King of Wands. Opportunities are concerned, we have Six of Cups. Alright, bottom of the deck, we have High Priestess. I'm pulling out some Lenormand cards and we'll see what are the messages for you. Uh through the Lenormand cards. Wow. We have Heart over here. And then we have Lilies. Libra. Amazing. <clears throat> I'm going to use this booklet to explain the meaning of these cards. Alright. So first we are going to discuss the tarot cards. Then we'll move on to the Lenormand cards. Okay. Uh, so I see... Okay, you're going to see a lot of 11, 11. You will see triple 1, 11, 11. You will see 3, 3, 3. Uh, then, yeah, 11 is kind of standing out very strong. If I have to talk about the zodiac signs, Libra, Aquarius is coming across as very important. Probably you're dealing with another Libra. Leo is coming across as very important. Then uh, Virgo. I'm also hearing Capricorn, Scorpio, if the, and Sagittarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. <laughs> all right, Libra. So what is your energy for the month of January 2024? We have two of wands. We have star. We have uh, knight of wands. And then we have three of pentacles. Hmm. So, Libra, I sort of feel that you're coming across as ambitious in the month of January, okay? You're like, I want to do this also, I want to do this also, and I want to do that also, and there are a lot of things that I want to do. You're coming across as very, very ambitious in the month of January. You'll find yourself remaining busy throughout the entire month. You'll make sure that the time that you are investing is getting utilized towards some meaningful activities, is getting utilized towards some productive work. You're investing your time and you're making sure that you get the desired outcome from that. You're going to be very conscious of your choices, the decisions that you'll make, the people with whom you're going to spend your time, the, the kind of work that you're going to do. You're going to be very conscious of your choices. 
you will make sure that you're not doing anything or you're not spending time with people <sighs> energies which has the potential to create any kind of negative impact on you there is sort of an inner realization that is going to happen in the month of january that you can achieve bigger things in your life or probably you are going to see someone that you know you're going to see someone rise up climb the ladder of success and you will feel inspired you'll be like if this person can do so can i i don't see your if at all you are trying to compete i see this is going to be a healthy competition i don't see you doing things out of jealousy or something like that no it is simply inspiring you to tap into your true potential okay uh i also see that the first half of the month especially with two of pentacles the first half of the month you're going to focus on things like your work and your career the second half of the month will be spent towards activities that other activities other activities also about which you are passionate of uh or probably you might indulge into some recreational activities you might indulge into some self care activities you might you might be like i want to spend some time with my friends hang out with my family or you know, go on a vacation so the second half is coming across as slightly relaxing the first half the energy of the first half is such that you will be very much involved devoted towards your work i also feel libra that many people are coming towards you with lot of new ideas okay like hey let's start doing this hey let's start doing that or maybe you're sitting on instagram you're sitting on youtube and then you're watching videos like in one year i have made so much of millions and i it's a zero to hero journey or probably something like that okay and you will feel inspired but the thing over here what i see is that you're going to watch so many such videos or reels and you'll be like okay i want to do this but then this person saying that this is also good so let me think about this also and then the third video you're going to see and you you will feel inspired uh watching that video as well and then you're like oh this third business is also very lucrative let me think about that as well and then the fourth video you watch and then you will be like oh my god this fourth one is so good so you might feel inspired you will be you will feel inspired but at the same time i also feel like the attention is getting diverted into into different areas you'll be like you will literally be like i want to do this also and this also and this also and this also if you want to be ambitious make sure you're strategic about it if you don't have a plan as to how you're going to achieve all these three four things no then go one thing at a time but if you are trying to achieve two to three things at the same time make sure you are dedicated and devoted towards it okay you are strategic about it you are planning about it otherwise it will be a waste of energy which you definitely you would not like by the end of jan because the at the beginning of the jan i see that your energy is such that you want to be productive you want to do meaningful things in the month of jan you want to utilize your energy towards things that matter things that will bring a favorable outcome things that will show some sort of outcome you don't want to be like jack of all trades but masters of none okay so this should not be the case but i do see that there is a very strong possibility of you starting something new in the month of january if you're planning to do something new uh, with respect to your work i do see some sort of collaborations and partnerships happening 
and uh, there is a new beginning indicated as far as your work is concerned i do see you working really hard but at the end of the month if you begin it at the beginning of the month or whenever you begin begin uh, this new activity i do see that it is going to give you a very positive outcome provided you work hard towards it but the cards are indicating that you will be working hard you're coming across as very busy you're very you're coming across as very determined and devoted towards whatever goals you have you are also looking for name fame reputation okay with the star card uh you want name fame reputation to come towards you that's what i see uh as far as your love life is concerned we have ace of cups we have justice we have sun and we have the hermit we have three major arcanas out of four cards Hmm. Okay. So Ace of Cups is telling me very clearly rather telling me Libra that there is a promised new beginning for you guys in the month of uh, in the month of January. Like a divinely orchestrated opportunity is coming towards you justice is also telling me that this is something that is meant to happen this is something that is going to happen in your life so that you can experience balance in your life maybe you're happy with the other areas of your life maybe you're happy with your work you're happy with your personal growth you're happy with your health but as far as your love life is concerned there is a there is a dissatisfaction or disappointment and that disappointment is really deep it is impacting your other areas of your life okay and i think so whatever relationships happened in your life so far they were kind of karmic in pattern okay they were meant to happen in your life so that you could learn certain lessons and also in fact r- rather than learning lessons i think so it was a part of your uh the past life karma which got carried forward and in this lifetime it was a debt on your part to repay that past life karma okay so i think so the the relationships and you were meant to repay those that past life karma through love and relationships so that's why you were a part of toxic connections toxic relationships you were you were surrounded by toxic people you have experienced so many betrayals but now that karma is cleared but now uh whatever learnings you were meant to learn you've learned it you've experienced it so this person that so there is a big hollow when it comes to your love life and this person is coming towards you this opportunity is coming towards you to fill up the void that you're experiencing to balance out this one specific area of your life okay because of i mean because of this one specific void you were not experiencing balance okay and universe is kind of helping you out restore the balance in your life by sending this person towards you so justice is being served that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing this again and again libra justice is finally served now it is your time libra it's time for you to sit back enjoy relax just be open to the blessings that are coming towards you i want you to write down in the comment section libra i'm open to the blessings that are coming towards me the sun card is an indication that you're going to experience joy as far as your love life is concerned something that you have never experienced before look at that child the child is so happy it's going to be a very free flowing relationship where you will feel like things are falling in place automatically you don't have to put in some extra efforts or you don't have to do anything out of the box to uh make things work 
it will be an automatic alignment that you will feel from within of course there is a lot of attraction of course there is an inner knowing from the very beginning for both of you that there is something special between both of you this is something that is meant to happen the hermit is a is an important card over here okay it is like you will get signs and symbols and you will experience some synchronicities before uh before this person enters in your life there will be a specific guidance that will be coming towards you and this guidance will come towards you through intuitive downloads or probably through some sort of inner voice or something you will feel like there is some energy that is surrounding me and i need to listen to that energy there will be this calling okay and you will you will obediently listen to that energy that guidance that is coming towards you because that guidance is needed for you to meet this person this person is a part of your destiny whatever in fact i feel like because of the fact that we have so many major arcanas over here i feel a lot of the things in the month of january are a part of your destiny libra if you have a garden in your front yard or in or in the backyard at you, and if you have flowers over there okay you will see that there is a very big bloom in your garden there are a lot of flowers that are blooming and this will be an indication before you're going to meet this person if and it's not necessary that you should have a garden you might even feel attracted towards nature you might even feel like oh i want to go to the park i want to spend some time in the park you know it's been long i've been there oh let me go and see the let me go uh, uh let me i want to go on the beach i want to do some surfing or i want to go and take a dip in the swimming pool i want to sit in the shade of a tree i want to do some meditation sitting under the tree or like i want to do some gardening i really want to have some plant some trees in my garden i love gardening i had kind of left that hobby somewhere in between but i want to pursue that all over again there will be an urge to connect with the nature before you meet this person this person is a spiritually inclined soul in some cases they are going to be an awakened soul this person is a this person might come from a law background if not law background probably they are into financial industry investment banking stock market or something like that but this person is making good money through whatever they are doing but they are a very highly skilled person that's what i'm getting a very highly skilled person they literally spend very less amount of time in whatever they do but yet they are if they are able to make a very good amount of money i don't know what they do but probably this is something related to financial industry or this may be related to uh this person might be an md ceo as well but they work for less amount of time but they work for less amount of time because they are a very highly skilled person very very freakingly highly skilled person and and the, and in the balance number of hours this person they work for 3 to 4 hours in the balance number of hours they spend taking care of themselves like doing some spiritual activities meditation yoga uh dhyan uh then so dhyan dharana is equal to meditation uh this person might be religious as well 
I think so. They worship God every single day. They they do have altar at their home, and they dedicatedly and devotedly perform pujas and rituals at their home. Uh, they have a sacred space for worshiping at their home. And what I feel over here is that they have kind of realized the importance of taking care of themselves. So they have mastered taking care of themselves. They are doing something. I don't know. I mean, what they, they I told you they might be doing something. Uh, meditation and this person is a very, very good psychic as well. A very good psychic. This person, they definitely, they have uh, uh, certain certain events that were meant to happen in their life in the future. They definitely had dreams about those events beforehand. And uh, say, for example, death of someone within the family. They knew like 10, 15 days before that this person is going to expire. Of course, they did not share with anyone else, but they do... They do go through such kind of experiences. They are kind of close to the spiritual world. Okay, anyways. Uh, if I decide to go deep into this, <laughs> there will be no stopping. Let's move on to the challenges that you are going to experience in the month of uh, uh, January. We have King of Wands, Libra. So the King of Wands is all about passion. I think so. There will be phases or periods during the month of Jan where you'll feel slightly low and disappointed. Not disappointed, low and slightly depressed or energy less. Uh, you'll feel like I'm not feeling passionate today and I'm not going to do work today. I want to bunk my work. So that kind of a feeling you might have in the month of Jan. Six of Cups is telling me this is an opportunity card. So you'll get an opportunity to meet your significant other, possibly a soulmate. Okay, so I'm telling you, there is a new beginning. So Six of Cups is also telling me or validating whatever I've said so far that someone special is coming towards you. Opportunity to meet, mainly an opportunity to meet your soulmate is coming your way. Let's talk about the messages through Lenormand cards. We have Heart. Heart, the meaning of this card is love, friendship, harmony, happiness and support. The heart indicates comfort, happiness, and a harmonious, loving relationship. It can refer to new relationships or increased feelings in established relationships, including those close friendships. This card can bring serendipity, support from others, prosperity, and satisfaction in many areas. It signals great potential for further personal growth. Okay. So this is a very positive card. This also indicates that a possible relationship is about to happen or you will develop very good uh, friendship with someone. Prosperity is coming your way. Satisfaction is coming. Personal growth is happening. Right? Then we'll move on to lilies. I think so. This is also a very positive card. Lilies. Experience. Maturity. Wisdom. Honor. Purity. This card. Uh, this is a card of virtues. Excellent prospects. Success through right actions, harmonious relationships, and healthy environments. It symbolizes striving for ideals and the path of finding happiness. It may mean the presence of high-ranking patron, sometimes a spiritual mentor. This may be developing slowly, but the results will be long-lasting. Wow. See, I told you, this is also a very positive card. So, uh, prosperity, uh, amazing prospects. Then we have uh, harmonious relationships. Then we have success that is coming towards you. Symbolizes striving for ideals and finding happiness. So you'll be finding happiness in the month of, not just finding, but happiness is actually coming towards you. That's what I'm getting in the month of Jan. I hope this resonates. Libra, hit like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, take care, have a great time and bye-bye.